Hello and welcome my friends, today another world's day, another playing stage day and it is GAM versus the Softhawks and it's going to be amazing, it's VCS versus PCS, this is Ah man, this is what I dream of, man. This, I love these regions so much. I would uh, love to see them being appreciated more by the international scene. And it's growing, it's growing, right? Uh, it's not just, ooh, minor region, they do crazy stuff, right? Um, sure, that's how they splashed onto the scene back in, uh, what was it, 17? 18? Ay, ay, ay. I should have taken my history lessons. Regardless. It's going to be amazing, it's going to be amazing. If you want to know more of those, these players and how I rate them, look at the shorts, look at all of that stuff. But let's get into the draft because I already see something crazy here. Let's listen to the casters, what they tell us. And uh, yeah, so Jinx is banned, Cassante is banned. That's not good for my uh, pickems, right? Cassante, hello, you need to be most picked. Um, but interesting that, uh, like, uh, what is it? The Hawks banned it themselves, right? Sure, Evie is a capable player in these regions. Uh, sure, in EU it didn't look that great. But um, you know that Gam loves to play around topside, right? Their bot side usually is not that bad, but this year they had some problems, right? They had to uh, change their AD carry due to some mix fi uh, match fixing issues, right? And all of that nonsense. So, uh, yeah, they're usually playing around the topside. And I mean, Levi and Kiaya, they have played together. Uh, in different roles for a very long time. They've been very successful at doing that. So uh, yeah, it's a known factor that they play around their top side. Emo as well, really strong. Um, not really that great in lane per se, but like outside team fights, like the roams, that's where like he shines. Um, and yeah, so I'm so a bit confused that they banned Cassante, a champion that would neutralize this top lane matchup. Regardless, we see Aurora coming through for the first time. I'm very uh, nervous about this pick because, well, I didn't have it as most banned, most picked or anything. Because, like, what the fuck am I going to tell you about Aurora when that champion was, like, disabled for the last couple of months, it feels like. So it's a first pick for Gan. That's, uh, that's high priority. But anyway, we see Zix and Jarvan coming through. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Zix, obviously, like, he lost some turret damage. So who the fuck cares? He still does the same things. Still going to poke you and harass you and zone control you from miles away. That has not changed. That has not changed. And Jarvan, yeah, Jarvan is uh, yeah part of I think like one of the trifectors of like all-time junglers that are like always good, right? And uh, that doesn't mean that it's like likely sin. Something people always want to pick because ooh, I have mechanics. No, Jarvan is just such a great champion. His kit is just so good. Um, yeah. So the combination with Zix, obviously, uh, yeah, the the old play themselves, right? And that's something that uh, the Hawks are kind of known for, right? They're like a wombo combo team. Um, and that doesn't mean that they can't like play individually, right? Dasher, for example, is the man to look out for. Um, he's pretty good in terms of like the numbers he puts out, the damage numbers he puts out, and so on and so on. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, they draft for what they love. Man, look at it. Rumble comes through, Rel comes through. Um, anyway, we'll take a look here. So they pick Jin into the uh, into the rat. What's his name again? Zix, right? That's uh, known to be a solid matchup, right? Both uh, can do similar things, right? Help their team with long range utility. Um, then the, the Poppy Flex, very nice, obviously Poppy a good champion against the Jarvan, so I like what the Gam has done there. Uh, let's glance over the bands here a bit, yeah, some uh, expected things to be honest. And, uh, okay, so Lucian comes in last pick, and there is obviously, I can't tell you anything about the Shravana, I have no clue, maybe I should have done better research. Uh, maybe it's something Levi has played a lot in recent times. But I wouldn't know. I can't tell you, sadly. And then Emo Tristana. Yeah, I mean, every mid laner has played Tristana and like these AD carries in recent uh, months, because obviously that's the patch. And the Emo is also proficient on the champion. So, uh, yeah, Gam. Looks like a Gam comp, man. Like some freaky jungler, right? Like there's a reason for this Nocturne ban, right? And then, uh, yeah. Very potent champions in the lanes. Uh, are very. Um, 
self-sufficient bot lane, right? The Poppy uh, for Ilio will be probably roaming around. That's what we have to hope, so that she can impact these dash champions a bit more than just the Zix. And uh, yeah, on the other side, uh, R5 uh, Lucian, right? For the mid lane matchup. Lucian Tristana. We'll see, we'll see. Lucian is a pretty good duelist, so uh, that goes for him. But obviously, well, I think yeah, it kind of depends on uh, execution here a bit as well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, I've not talked about the rumble. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Anyway, so coming into the game, yeah, the rumble doesn't doesn't even know what he wants to buy. I, uh, so yeah, top lane matchup. I would love to tell you something, but um, yeah, we watch and we learn. I I have no fucking idea. Um, obviously, Rumble is a lane bully, but Kiaya plays a ranged top laner as well, so that's what it is. Um, but yeah, we we have not like one champion has been heavily nerfed to the re to the degree that I am still very surprised that people pick it up. But when like if someone picks it up, then I guess it could have been or should have been. Um, what is this global power ranking? There's a wait. There's a global power ranking like officially. What? Okay, uh, I might need to look into that. 37 versus 50 something. What? Whatever. Uh, regardless, regardless. So top lane matchup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll we'll just learn. We'll just learn bot lane matchup. Um, yeah, should be all right. Poppy obviously does a lot in the early levels. Um, but Zix has uh, like the safety, so there's mm, realistically nothing happening uh, besides like a bit of shift and shove, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, they they do well, they do well. Nice for the statistics, nice for the statistics. Anyway, let's let's see some action, no? Oh, easy love might be caught here, caught channeling uh, his recall in the lane. It's going to be a one for one. Both supports pick up the kills. Ooh, and that will be a pickup for Forrest as well, who puffed bot side while, well, Levi path top side to protect his pushing lane there. Easy love, ay ay ay, my friend. Oh, next play, next play. Emo forced to flash away. Ay ay ay. Didn't see the start of that, but Elio doing his job, right? Roaming around, that's what we want to see. So obviously it's Vista. Vista is something you like, someone you might know, right? Obviously uh, from the LCK. Uh, now I would love to tell you what team he played on. I think it's is it Hangwa? Is it Bro? I don't know. It, it, it has been a bit of a while, right? Since he played in the LCK though. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. With items coming in, right? The bot lane will get uh, a bit calmer, right? Um, because obviously both champions will delete the waves from a mile away. So let's just see, let's just see. Yo, goddamn, man. Let's, uh, let's think about this. Why, why did it become so rough? So, blind pick top lane into counter pick top lane. Then jungle support into counter pick of support. Although I don't think Rel is really a counter pick of... Okay, Elio goes over the wall that connects and there is the bomb, but it's not enough. Forest here gets flashed on and pick up by Easy Love for the, the, the double kill. And that soft talks being a bit over aggressive against the masters or fasters or however you want to call that. And okay, there's that, ulting the wave, but it's just not enough. Going in, going out. Clean play. Uh, now it would be lovely if they could contest uh, contest this, right? They have Kiaya TP and uh, what's his name? Uh, Levi can just sprint down, but I guess they have no bot lane push. Let's say he misses. Ooh, there's the magnet storm, and it is just barely enough. So they pick up an additional kill because the bot lane again tries to do crazy things. What? That was enough? Oh, he goes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Hey, they're, they're, they have Zix. So, uh, they really love. 
um, like poking and zone controlling your ass. And it's not like Gam has like any easy tools to uh, circumvent that, right? Uh, Ilio is not tanky enough, and Levi goes for uh, yeah the the carry Shivana. There's the curtain call. Any aggression? What Ilios? Ay 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 ay. Man, this dragon is getting uh, is getting wild. Sure, she got one shot right there by the uh, double R combo. But hey, we'll see, we'll see. Harold uh, not capable of being used. But yeah, big old is not enough. It's not enough. Very nice. So a bit weird, right? Gam wins the uh, the team fights or like the bigger skirmishes, kind of, right? And um, yeah, local gold denied the tour would have died anyway, and he gives over the cannon minion to his top laner. Very nice to do so. Very nice to do so. Um, but yeah, Gam wins like the larger skirmishes, but Hawks wins the one we want. <laughs> this is exactly the opposite of first of all what I expected, and like what the drafts also would would uh, would tell you, right? Personally, I also feel like Static Shift just deals the most damage as a singular item from all of the three that I mentioned. Right, because Blade of the Ruined King, sure, but you need to be able to auto-attack, auto-attack, auto-attack. That's just, uh, yeah, I don't know, a bit more team reliant instead of getting like short trades in. So for a very early aggressive, oh, Kiaya gets a big ult! And, oh, double knock-up from Elio as well, they're opening up, ay ay ay, that... That was a massive ult. Kaya here trading. Pops the barrier. Pulls off the dash with the W as well. Ilio. That's not Ilio, that's Emo. And Mar. How was he caught here? Well, I guess Levi is just so fast. That was pretty close. Uh, but he needed to flash. He needed to flash. That, that would have barely hit him. So, uh, yeah. Again. Gam. Not only do they get the dragon for their own dragon. Like, Kiaia sets up in a massive all right? It's not the five-man one-shot, but look at this. All caught, all slowed. Emo from the side opens up. Ilio sets it up for some more, uh, what is it? Uh, like, with the knockout, sets it up for the shots from the easy love. And, well, Levi throws in some fire as well. Goes into the dragon transformation again and, uh, yeah. Hunts them down. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, here, look at this. Motherfucker, Levi. 29.44 sounds bad. Win rate 39%. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, this is for a minor region, right? I mean, just getting to Worlds for and to play 73 games. There are probably not many people like in the world who have done that, right? I mean, um, yeah, probably many EU and A players who have not gotten uh, to 73 uh, like Worlds games, and. Sure, 40% win rate again. Doesn't sound great, but hey, uh, we can be honest. Yep, that's pretty cool. Like all the Aurora side I saw, like when she was uh, viable, uh, like uh, available to be picked and so on, they were uh, went uh, malignance first to have the ult on the lower cooldown and uh, to well do crazy stuff with that. Okay, they're looking for a play onto Dasher here. Levi ults over the wall. The W hits. Oh my god, I hate this so much, man. Riot Games, fix your game. It has been in the game for so goddamn long that the W under the uh, terrain... I mean, maybe it's just it, maybe it's just me not being fucking blind, so it's like, yeah, I'm sorry. But I didn't see that W whatsoever. The Ws go under the uh, ground. Very nice, very nice. Another pick. That's, that's, that's kind of what their comp I wants to do. And also, by the way, AD carries will never learn. Why the fuck are you up all the way in the lane? Look at them. They have no vision whatsoever. But, uh, yeah. Marble here. Ay, ay, ay. Getting caught with flash up. But you should never be there anyway. Okay, that Seamus split push kind of stopped. But uh, there's the next wave. And, I mean, Levi, he just needs to sacrifice himself if push comes to shove. Sure, it's 200 gold bounty. It's not really what you want to see. But, hey, that's 800 gold plus. Levi goes in. Gets the smite. Giga chat. Gets the kill. Fights further. Gets another kill. Does he have another Q? And, yeah, picks up 
A triple kill steals the dragon. That's the fucking MVP of the VCS. That's their fucking gold. Man, that is a gold performance from Levi. Comes into the international stage. Hey, bros, remember me. Slaps your fucking bitches. And yeah, that's that's GG. Like, they pick up top lane turret for, I don't remember. Is it now 700 gold? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. Oh my god, the old timing also to, like, what is it, interrupt or like buffer or whatever, blah, blah, blah. The Jarvan QE and, I mean, the rest of the fight is also so fucking over, man. I don't even care. I don't even care what the others did, man. Levi popped off. That's, that's, that's all that I want to say. And Elio here kind of gets caught setting up vision, but, uh, well, he has some friends around. He will die, but well, actually they don't get enough on Kiaya. And Levi is now a bit far forward, but... It's kind of chilling. W? Okay, should have spotted him. There's the W, so window. And I mean, hey, Forrest is running around. around. He's so fast, god damn. Regardless, uh, yeah, top lane uh, inhibitor turret has been taken care of. And that's what I mean. Emo, right, his laning phase, sure, he got counter picked, right? Um, the laning phase is fine, right? He's not inting or anything. But out of laning phase, his uh, his map play is like actually like really fine, and well, his team fights also look good. 403. There's a reason why that guy has a reasonable amount of MVPs in the lane uh, or in a region where well, there's Kiaya, there is Levi, and I mean, sure, Vikings looked uh, terrible yesterday, but I mean, hey, uh, yeah, there there is Kati, right? Kati, the Vikings mid laner. Uh, sure, his Oriana was a bit questionable. He has not played Oriana for months, by the way. Um, <clears throat> regardless, regardless, yeah. That's what I want to point out. This Emo guy is good. Ilio looked a bit wild today. Levi also going into like all the towers, but hey, forces the fight, even though if he sacrifices a good amount of his HP. He knows that even if he dies, it's going to be alright. And 19 7 doesn't look like a stomp. After this uh, bit of a contested and wild early game, but once it got to the fighting, I mean, Gam just fucking slaughtered them. That's what I want to see. Maybe we take the 2-0 victory. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go into game number 2, my friends. Okay, in the draft of game number 2, we have a... <laughs> a look at this. A Shivana ban being forced out. That's amazing. Uh, again, Kisanta being banned, not picked. What the fuck, man? Hello, ban Sundra instead. Syndra, look at her, she does so much damage, like ban her, why ban Kisante, my god, my fucking pickhams, no, they pick Rumble again, oh my god, I mean, Abby didn't, like, they, they just got absolutely schooled in the team fights, not really on Rumble, uh, and I think the Rumble Aurora lane also looked fine, right, Rumble is relatively hard to bully in top lane, I mean, it's just an absolute menace. There are very few champions who can actively like harass him and like fuck him up. Ash first pick. I mean, you know me. I'm a like an Ash lover. She's just great, and she has a good kit as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, amazing kit. Poppy just fits in next to that. Poppy now. Uh, yeah, I want to see. Did we see Poppy jungle already? Like I also have Poppy in my pickems, right? Check out my pickems video if you want to see more and find out what I'm rambling about. But it is what it is. And then, yeah, next we have the Jin again. Jin against Ash. That's also fine. Uh, obviously, a bit rough, but both can uh, like pick each other, so at least that's that. And then the uh, Leona. Leona is just. I don't know why, but it feels like that's just an Elio champion. It's just Booga Booga, let's go in. And I mean, so far the Poppy doesn't have that much value. I don't think, like, she can probably interrupt the W from. Uh, Aurora, right? There's like a mini jump in it, no? Uh, uh, maybe. Well, we'll see, we'll see. So we have some bands coming in here and there. Pretty aggressive bands uh, from Gam. Not sure. Viego, Akali. Hmm. They've probably done more research on this than I have. And uh, Sejuani, yeah, sure. Great champion. And there it is. Oh my, oh my. Wait, is that locked in? They just slammed down Lee Sin LeBlanc. What the fuck? Hawks say, okay, hey, we drafted for teamfight last game. Let's draft for fucking Uga Booga skirmishing. We're going to kick your teeth in. Strong lanes, strong fighting, strong duels. 
Hawks just goes all in, man. This is a comp that, like, either you get... Yeah. We're going to have a banger. I, I, I just I don't want to spoil it, but we're going to have a banger. Look at these champions, man. Ay, yeah, yeah. We're going to have so much action. I mean, top side is just probably going to be the same. Kiaya pushing the wave in. And, uh, Eva, uh... Evi? <laughs> Evi going to be bing chilling, right? Just farming and like somewhat under turret. Or like uh, pushing a bit slower. Jungle matchup, it's going to be interesting. I uh, personally think that the Wukong is favored here in this uh, 1v1. And mid lane. LeBlanc, it's just weird. Not the biggest fan of LeBlanc and pro play, honestly. Uh, obviously, there's a reason why she like is allowed to be picked at times, but. I think um, there's this one guy and he's called <laughs> Yon and I think there are very few champions who are stronger than him currently in the game. Many people do agree with me, so uh, yeah, I think uh, Emo will have another uh, stellar performance. Um, sure, right, Levi popping off, looking great, kinda stole his uh, show, but uh, I mean, Emo's team fighting was great, Emo's map movement was great, and uh, sure the Levi... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Shivana, uh, kind of stole a bit of the limelight here, but hey. Let's see. Okay, there's this. Oh, they don't get this. The, 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 what is it? The stun. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about the matchups. I think bot lane is going to be uh, interesting. I think Mar Marble's lane should win this. Oh, hey, what is this here? What is this? Worlds MSI total win rate. Yeah, very, very tough matchup, right? Is this games against each other or is this like in total? No, I think it's games uh, in total. Uh, yeah, here we see Eva, Evi, right? Uh, went to fucking nine international events, but uh, still has not reached the same amount of games played uh, than uh, Levi and also not the same win rate, right? That just kind of puts the stats we saw from Levi in last game. Uh, into perspective for like minor region players uh, or smaller regions whatever yeah yeah again i think uh the hawk spot lane should be the ones uh kind of in control here ash is just uh decently strong and uh, yeah it's a range versus melee matchup but at some point uh emo will just be a okay and uh yeah we'll make some plays obviously dash are going with the greedy uh, flat, not flash, ignite uh, TP without flash uh, LeBlanc build that we've seen here and there in the LCK and uh, yeah, it, it is illegal but um, well, it puts on the early pressure that you need and uh, against so many healing champions in the game currently the ignite does help finding lethal. Forest obviously like should look to link up with LeBlanc at some points, right? Um, He's going for a full clear, which is a bit weird, right? Sure, level 6 is good for Lee Sin, yeah, but, um, yeah, it's just, mm. it's just weird that uh, there's not a single pivot into mid lane whatsoever, trying to put the Yon uh, behind or anything, because you would assume that Levi is also going to full clear, um, right, due to the simple fact that, hey, it's a Wukong, his early ganks kinda suck, uh, yeah, whatever. Vista here, yeah, just press W, gets engaged again, slams into the wall, and then we get a flash trade. It's okay, it's okay. I guess uh, it's good for Ilio, right, because his flash is less important than Poppy flash. Both of them don't have hex flash though, that's crazy. What? Poppy not picking hex flash? And uh, yeah, here, mid lane. We see uh, what LeBlanc can do, right? Okay, let's see mid lane. They set up a freeze. Sonic Wave connects. And he doesn't want to follow if, uh, like Flash E. Oh no, E was on cooldown. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Pretty nice. Dasher freezes the wave after the uh, earlier reset, right? And uh, yeah, Emo loses Splash and his ult. And uh, yeah. Yeah, he has to walk back to lane after TPing, right? So. Pretty rough, but this is the agency, this is the power of the LeBlanc, especially paired up with the Lee Sin. Um, sounds pretty like, oh, but yeah, it's kind of it was it is. 
this is uh, there's a reason right this is a known powerful bot lane and so on and so on and yeah as expected with all the early pressure right even if top lane is maybe a bit more even right okay Vistra stops him there's Kiaia ult he has to yeah it's just not great funneling into this corridor against like the champions that uh, Hawks has elected Okay, Ilio here gets slammed not into the wall, but Aftershock does its job. Uh, Levi here getting lower, getting lower. It's going to be a messy fight. First blood for Dasher. Evi picks up a second one. It feels like this classic thing that's called a disaster. Never mind, they pick up two as well. Another one goes over. But now can Dasher find lethal onto Kiaya or will Kiaya find Vesta first? It's a triple kill for the Aurora. And a double kill for Dasher. 4 to 3. A fucking slaughterhouse is in this river. Ay, 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 man. You need to rain, drain the river. It's all full of blood. No, ay, ay, ay. So bad for the ecosystem. But yeah, this is uh, yeah, a 4v4 in the top side. Both fucking 80 carries. Usually the role of the top laner, right? Uh, Bing chilling in bot lane. Just. Pushing waves, farming, haha, having a great time, and meanwhile in top lane. Yeah, uh, they're fighting for Valhalla, and uh, yeah, Kiaya, big beneficiary, right? Three kills for this Aurora, it's going to be massive. Let's see what she can do with that. Okay, Vista here comes around, and what's the old? Oh, he was tagged by the chain, I guess. Okay, Root connects onto Dasher. There's the W, there's the old. But yeah, it's just not too much, right? Bit of a scuffle here around the uh, grubs respawn, getting mid lane pressure, using some ult still, but uh, getting the pressure nonetheless. And that should mean that Gam uh, yeah, should be able to collect the uh, very important grubbers. And yeah, Elio here trying to ca secure some vision, but too deep in the... Oh my, oh my. There is Dasher and uh, yeah, he has some uh, good immediate impact, let's just call it that. Okay, so next dragon spawns in a bit, but the people are already fighting. People are already fighting, pops old. I don't even know what's going on. I see HP bars going low, I see there's the fat Aurora and she picks up a double kill. And yeah, I mean Dasher can do a lot, but he can't do everything. Uh, hopefully he does not have a Magi's or any uh, stacking item like that. That would have been very sad. Okay, Kiai gets hit by the Q here. There's the ult by Elio and the squad arrives. Forest left out to dry. And yeah, will be killed by Levi there. And yeah, Levi kind of crawling back into this game. But Kiai is where it's at. This guy, I mean... Maybe it's Aurora, maybe it's him, but stellar performances in game number one and now especially in game number two on the back of that uh, massive fight there in the top side. And what is that in bot lane? A. Eh? That's Emo again, putting up some pressure in the side lane. Understand what I'm saying. And yeah, ult for ult trade, get Dasher's TP as well. And uh, sure, they're a bit on the back foot here. They probably have wool going to. Uh, what am I even saying? They probably will lose the bot lane turret there, uh, with or without the Herald. Oh, they use the Herald though, okay. It's a bit of a tr uh, turret trait. And let's see, can Kiaya get the first blood turret? No, he cannot. Wave too small and has to sidestep errors anyway. Yeah, there's the next charge, so it will be a massive play here, but... Yeah, it dies before the wave arrives. Maybe they could have forced a bit more, but... Yeah, they lose top lane turret and mid lane turret is not too healthy either. Ooh, Kiaya. Gets the W in. Will he f yeah, flashes a tick too late there. Evi will get the solo kill there on the fat Kiaya. That is kind of crazy. Kind of missed the start of that. I think uh, Kiaya probably tanked the turret or something. Because his minion wave uh, it was kind of gone there. So yeah, that's a big shot down over to Evi. Again, he's playing a champion that has been heavily nerfed, but... I guess this ult has not been nerfed, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's going to be that's going to be still a factor, right, in these fights here. Oh my, Kiaya getting caught here. That's not what you want to see. That's the big carry. Uses the ult to escape, and 
It just creates so much space, it just creates so much trouble. There's Easy Love opening up, chasing Eevee. I can't speak, man. Chasing Eva. I just don't try it anymore. They chase the Rumble away. My god, I'm sorry. Just needs to create space with uh, Ilio, and uh, then the rest can open up, the rest can sneak in, get some kills, and yeah. Wait. Oh my, there it is again. This Kiaya guy is doing so much damage, and Dasher here buys. Okay. Okay, okay, and they find another E. Vista here also getting chunked. And yeah, Dasher, I mean, he gets easy love. But yeah, that's also kind of the downside of LeBlanc. Sure, she can get one target if it's a squishy, but that's kind of about it. Emo, it's just. I didn't even think he joined, right? He's just in the side lane. He doesn't even have to do anything, right? His TP was down anyway, but. I mean, hey, they jump on Easy Love, they can't even burst him down. Let's see this again, right? They jump onto him, right? Yes, the barrier and so on and so on. But Levi is there, Kiaya is there. They immediately hit them with the Wombo combo. One shot uh, Marble, Evi uh, nearly immediately dashed. And then Dasher, it takes him so long to kill Dasher. Uh, Dasher takes so long to kill Easy Love. But I mean, it wouldn't have been too much anyway. And yeah, just another. Line of picks, Vista just offers him up again. Boom. Pow. And uh, yeah. Gam, they, uh, yeah, they're accelerating. They're accelerating. Their comp, obviously, from ahead is very, very strong. Uh, very slippery topside. And then setting up picks. And they have the, they certainly have the damage to then hammer it down. Look at this beautiful item, man. <laughs> My cosmic drive, man. <laughs> so sad. And now they're all jumping into the meat grinder. They pick up the Lorona, rest in pieces. But, uh, yeah. Oh, Evi actually gets away. Well, for a moment. And then Emo gets revenge for the laning phase. Well, not really. It's a one for one. Well, I guess we still see the strong sides of both teams. I think, like, uh, the Hawks showed why they, they're regarded as a really strong team. Why they dominated the LJL, right? Again, they only dropped two games in the entire summer. One in summer. Um, and won in the summer, what this playoffs, for the LJL. Then they went into the PCS part of uh, their run, where they also aimed, they made second place, right? Um, but uh, there they obviously dropped a few more games, right? PCS region is really good. But uh, yeah, glad that they at least get to show off some of the parts, even though it's going to be a 2-0. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm also happy Gam looks really good. This is what GAM looks like. Sadly, Vikings didn't get to perform yesterday. Um, which uh, I already got comments. Hey, 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 hey. Everyone praying for my downfall, but yeah. Oh my, oh my. Can't get a lifesteal queue off or anything. But just look at the damage. Every. I can't fucking speak his name. Why can't I say his name correctly, man? <laughs> Quadra kill for easy love. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I mean, Easy Love playing really good, right? Sure, sitting kind of a bit in the back, right? As gym players usually do. But uh, yeah, insane performances by the top side. Uh, Levi and uh, Ilio kind of with a tougher start into this game. But yeah, when it comes to team fighting, they will perform, they will perform. Kiaya, absolutely banger performance. Man, his Aurora looks fucking scary. Anyway. 2-0 victory by Gam. Nothing to see here besides great gameplay by both of them. Obviously, right, with the caveat, it is, like, playing, right? So it's going to be very aggressive. It's going to be very wild. And uh, now let's see them smiling at each other. And... Oh, yeah. Hey, good game, good game, good game. More of this, more of this. Anyway, and if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. And tune in next time at Worlds 2024. Bye-bye, my friends.